Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Pirate Lance. Today, we're hitting this manufacturing facility. Um, Dr. Murad informed us in order to get that uh, beta pod up and running, we need to get some more plates for the outside. So, we're going to raid this facility, grab what we can, get the hell out. Um, it's sort of under the guise of a raiding mission for the planetary government. Uh, they've kind of hired us to come in here and uh, destroy the facility, but I mean, we'll still do that, but we're going to steal stuff in the process. So, I mean, we'll lose th our salvage rights, but in the, at the same time, we're going to make a lot of money. So, we're going to get this done. So, our goal is to reserve back once again to turn one. We're going to have to watch out for turrets again. There's going to be a turret here. Uh, at least four mechs in the start. There might be another four coming up. This is roughly a three skull mission. So we're going to get down up here. Let's, let's move Jasper first, because since it's his job to get in close, see if we can spot what's up ahead here. So there's one turret, one mech. Chances are we're fight facing four guys plus the turret. So as long as we can move yeah. before that turret, I'm thinking that we're going to be okay. So let's get Voodoo down next. We've go. got some good ranged weapons, so we should be able to take that turret down. It is the Lothian League we are going up against. And I know right now they really like us, but uh, I think getting our uh, ship fixed is yep. more important. We're going to be leaving Lothian space very shortly. Um, we're going to be heading over into the Marian Hegemony. So this is a Thunderbolt. Wow. Okay, everyone's got to kill this guy, so we're going to fire everything on him. Wow, those were impressive misses. Okay, we go first. Yeah. So, let's move down. Hmm, how close do I want to get? Not close. Roger. Somewhere over here. Looks like it's only one mech here. That's interesting. Sniper turret, what do we got in here? Two PPCs and machine guns, that's gotta go. So we're gonna fire on that. We're gonna leave our medium pulse off, but fire everything else. I'm taking this shot. So almost 100 damage in total. Voodoo, we gotta do the same thing, so let's move you over. On the move. Full speed. Let's hope you can take this thing out. Firing everything on the standard on turret. Okay, good. Two less PPCs we gotta worry about. Turret destroyed. Okay, let's get animal Stand moving. Five. Wanna make sure we got a lot of movement on our guys here. Don't want that Thunderbolt uh, to be doing too much damage. I know I didn't move, move very much with him, but I want to make sure the Goss Rifle hits. Okay, there's something wacky. Why am I hitting that wall? Alright, Jasper. Plan is for you to be the decoy, buddy. Sorry to say. That is your job. Once we finish this mission, we're jumping out of here into uh, Marion Hegemony Space. Oh, another mech over here. Okay, cool. Let's uh, fire everything we can. All right. So that's another heavy mech. Interesting. Pulse laser and either a PPC or a uh, hmm Gauss cannon or a light PPC. Yeah, there's like something there. I mean, it's working both ways, but I would rather be hitting him. The missiles seem to work just fine. Okay, payroll. What do you need? Let's keep moving over here. We want to flank these guys best we can. I want to try and burrow through one side of the mech. If you're fighting heavier mechs than yourself, and they've got a lot of armor, you want to try to burrow through it, which is what I'm attempting to do here. So we're going to go with pinpoint strikes. Okay, nice. And let's get Voodoo over as well. She's up on the next level up. That's okay. She's got long level weapons, so a long, uh, little long distance weapons, so we're okay here. So we're gonna fire everything on the side of this guy again. Okay, nice. He's unsteady. So animals up next. Gonna sprint you over here. Can we get you to a point where you can shoot this guy in the side? We can. We're gonna go right here. Once again, the idea is to either destabilize him first and then hit him with uh, weapons like the Gauss rifle. Um, 
I don't know what the heck's in the way there. Okay, head hit. That's a hit. Let's get Jasper down there now. You have orders? I do have orders, Jasper. Oh, you can't get him from there, but you can get him from here. Throttle down, moving out. Okay, we want to stay below underneath this lip as well if we can. Um, because there's a turret over here that can hit us with long range weapons, and then there's two back here if they got long range weapons that can hit us as well. Firing everything. Hopefully we're able to knock him down or at least blow his torso off. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Torso gone, right arm gone. Down to one health now. Yep. Still his turn to go, but it's a lot of punishment for him. Ooh, yeah, so that looks like it's a uh, plasma cannon. It's got damage drop off, right? So. Normally when I run this mission, I like to flank to the left and move around the, to the left this way. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to push back this way and move around to the right this time. Yep. There's a reason for that. If these guys are heavy mechs, there's a chance that there could be reinforcements. There's only two of them here. What's this guy? Black Knight. He's got that desk there. Stump those, PP stump those PPCs. Let's just fire a regular PPC shot at him. What the hell? Targeting system janky. That's not you. Yes, Commander. It's the goddamn map board. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Let's get you down. We're going to ignore the Thunderbolt for this turn. I know I probably shouldn't, but we are. Firing the SRMs on this guy. And the reason why we're doing that is I want him to come out so he can burrow through that, finish burrowing through this one side. Good to go. Whatever he does is going to expose him. So let's just fire, we'll fire everything on this guy, why not? Okay, PPC hits, nice. A little bit of instability. Guess get animal on him now. Once again, moving down here. Understood. Moving fast. Everything but the medium laser, it looks like. Yep, we're going to fire everything. Uh, let's hope this Gauss Rifle hits. Once again, hitting something invisible in the middle of the map board. I have no idea what this is in here. But it's affecting any direct fire weapon. Well, non missile weapon, that is. See, once again, it's affecting him too, right? I mean, it works both ways, so. We got more missiles, so it's a benefit, but I don't know. Here comes that Thunderbolt. Turning your side to the wrong guy, buddy. Turning your side to the wrong guy. Okay, we can't goof around with these guys, so let's just fire the uh, PPC. Unsteady. Jasper's turn. Moving back here. Yes, Commander. Just gonna move. And let's fire everything. I want him gone. Yep, there we go. We can salvage that. Yeah, I... As much as I love the Thunderbolt pieces, um... I can't take the chance of losing a mech here. I mean, we do have mechs to replace it with, but I would rather not lose anything at this point. So LRMs and PPC. Besides, if we're gonna if we're gonna claim any mech, I'd rather have this Black Knight. At least then we're not dirtying up the loot table. What's up, boss? So I'm gonna sprint you down here. Affirmative. And I'm gonna see if it makes a difference the position we are and the chance to hit. Let's take this guy off for now. Yeah, see how that makes it all the way across the map board? There's got to be something invisible in the center there that's causing a problem. Okay. Something. I don't know. Well, those work just fine. Hmm. 
See, there's the turret there. You need to be careful of that one. Although I think if he could fire, he would have by now. Let's see what that's like over there. Can't get low enough here. Hmm. All right. Let's see if I can zoom in down here and get low enough. There we go. Yeah, he'd be able to see us back here. So if that turret could fire, he would have by now. So let's get payroll. Just to be safe, though, let's just make sure we're not fully uh, right. exposing ourselves. So can we fire the LRM-5 with this? We can. We're looking for stability damage here, too. We want to try and knock him off balance. Okay. I'm on it. Once again, it hit something. I have no idea what it was. This is bothering me now. Let's just walk it over. And I'm going to fire the missiles only and see what happens here. Okay, Jasper, I can't have you run. I understand. Walking's good enough. Let's fire everything. I don't know, it must be my imagination. It just seems like those there's something invisible there that's blocking weapons fire. I know it's probably my imagination. Eh, let the yeah, let's just fire this. Okay, Gauss rifle hit, nice. Okay, now he's lost evasive. It's gonna start to come down. He needs to get closer to fight us really effectively. Be nice if we had a flamer unit at this point. Minimal damage on that hit. I think he's in close enough range now to start doing called shots on him. Oh, that guy's got something going on over there. Maybe it was a range thing. Maybe he's got a maybe he's got a uh, AC10 over there. So let's make sure we're not positioned anywhere that that guy can shoot us this next time here. So let's move. Um. Reduce my uh, mouse here. Let's move up mm, here. I'll do what I can. You'll do what I tell you. Offensive push on this guy. Mm, now, what do we do? We go for legs. Let's go for a leg shot. Fire both. Hmm. I want to make him unstable too. So. Ready for order. Voodoo, let's just back you up. And we're going to click that PPC back on. And let's try again for an offensive push in the leg. Oh, what's the torso got left on it? Let's see if we can kill the torso. It's got an engine in it, right? Pretty sure it does. Target confirmed. Well, head hit anyway. Not that the pilot's in there anyway, but still. Okay, let's do this. We gotta stay back, because if he starts to close with us, that melee damage is gonna do a significant amount of, wor of uh, worry. Let's Watch fire everything. Okay, he's unsteady. So what has he got left here? That was an arm hit, it looked like, with the Gauss rifle. So it's 42 in the torso. You have orders? So Jasper... I've got orders for you, buddy. I got orders that you're not going to like, Jasper. But it needs to be done. It needs to be done, Jasper. Let's get it done. Of course. Come on, come on, come on. That hit something. Is that an arm? He just took the arm off, I guess? Down to one. Nice. Oh, that was the torso. Okay. I thought he had an XL engine, but I guess he doesn't. Mm -hmm. Excellent work, Jasper. Much appreciated, buddy. 
All right, payroll. Let's finish this up. Yep. You know what to do, girl. Let's move. Well, you know what to do. Oh come on, really, girl? Really? Oh, head destroyed. Wow. Okay. Can take it right back to turn zero. Taking a protective stance. Okay, Jasper. Awaiting orders. Let's start working on this base, buddy. Consider it done. Turn a base attack, I think. Target. I should do that one. Okay. If they had missile turrets, they would have used them on us by now. So let's move you around. Gonna save that Gauss rifle. I gotta put more Gauss rifle ammo in this guy. Almost. Voodoo. On my way. They can't see us from back there. I think we're fine. They haven't got sensor lock either, so let's hang on to the LRM ammo. So that's that gone. Could you? Yeah. Okay. What do you need? Let's try and take this turret out, guys. Mortars and grenade launchers on this turret till it's gone. And everybody else in the base. Let's just do Roger. it. No sense in hogging damage. We got lots Order. of weapons to use. It's multi-target. PPC is going here. Everything else is going there. Actually, let's leave this on A2. Fire. Missiles on B. Okay. Get animal around here. Acknowledge. Once again, we're going to split fire. A and B. Goss to A. Oh, I guess we have to put missiles to B. I forgot that I should have uh, been paying more attention to the uh, directional fire. Okay, let's see if we can get Jasper now in here. Yeah, we can see that building. Good. Yes, Commander. And let's leave the SRMs off. Oh, we can't. That's the only thing we can hit with. All right. Nice. Fresh real estate available. Apparently. Okay, payroll. Let's spot up this turret again. Going full throttle. Take the turret out. Let's fire everything. Take this. Okay, he's got a lot of armor left. Commander. Let's take Animal back here. Let's finish up with the Goss. He's got no ammo after this one. We're gonna fire this. We should be able to take it down, hopefully. Yep. One less turret. All right. My Let's take. Let's take Voodoo first. Let's go here. And she can take out this building over here. Well, maybe not all of it, but a lot of it. And then we'll bring up Jasper to finish it off. Just the one building, buddy. Don't have to do the rest. Fire on this guy. Nope, not worried about the LZ. Take this turret out. Just one turret left, guys. What do you need? Excellent. Confirm. Firing everything on a turret. Uh, except for the well, what do we leave this off? Yeah, let's fire these two. Confirm. Okay. And voodoo next. You can see it from there. You can just peek over and fire. For an that will probably do it, I think. 
Here it goes. And that's it for this mission. One less. All right, so we steal what we can out of here and get off the planet. All right, so we steal almost a million sea bills worth of supplies off this planet, which is excellent. With very, very little damage to our max, lots of experience, which is excellent. We were able to strip a few things off the Black Knight before we took off. Not much, but a few things. So, you know, overall, an excellent mission. Alright, 25,000 in repairs, which is really nothing for our Lance, which is awesome. And that'll end the episode of Rogue Tech for today. We need to jump out of here, actually, so let's do that first. Let's go to the star map. Lothian League is not really happy with what we've done. They're in the middle of a war here, so it's not like uh, they can actually do anything to us. So we're going to jump to the uh, probably the closest planet here. Uh, back out you. Hmm. 19 days. How, how close is this one? 11. 12. So nine days away. We got enough money that we don't have to worry about our next uh, thing, but we're going to jump here get out of this system. So the goal over the next few episodes, I think, will be to accumulate enough money to be able to... Excellent, thank you. So we need to keep at least 500,000. What do we need? 530,000 for our next report. So we've got about 12, 1.2 million. So let's go to engineering ship upgrades. So the, the goal over the next little while is to finish these two off. The remaining uh, uh, high uh, G burn drive upgrade. And we need to get this other gamma pod up and running. So we're looking at uh, close to 4 million in order to get that up and going. Uh, I think what we'll do though, is we'll spend 270,000 and get another training module up and running. Uh, it's very little. Only 15 days in time. It's going to take us a little, little longer to get the cash that we need, but we're going to purchase that and get that done. We'll get it's really going to help our pilots out. So we're going to be able to expand to three lances very shortly. Now that we have that beta pod up and running, we can have up to 16 pilots, which is enough for four lances, um, which you know, which we obviously can't run right now, but uh, at some point we will. We're going to need to get a light lance, I think, up and running, so we're going to have to hire some more novice uh, mech warriors, and then we'll be able to run three lances at once. And what'll probably end up happening is my current pirate lance, with payroll and the crew, will probably move up to the main group, and I might pull off two missions a day, um, and then the pirate lance will be the new light lance. But we've arrived here at uh, Bakelieu, and let's have a look at what they've got in the store real quick. Now I've found a, a few times. What's this medium laser? Plus one accuracy, 25% crit. Uh, I found a few times in these stores. Oh, we have a ex chance for exchanger pluses now. That's a fair bit, though. Heat sink plus, nice. Cooling pods. Can't not buy that cooling pod. I'm going to buy that. New um, and plus two targeting systems. Excellent. So now with our mercenary re review board up, we're able to pick up some stuff that we weren't previously able to do. We can get LRM dead fire ammo, that's excellent. And we can get SRM dead fire ammo, I'm assuming. Yep, cool. So I'm going to just buy one of these. And I'll buy LRM dead fire ammo, just so that we've got it lying around. Just in case we need to um, refit and put them back into a, a mech. So that's excellent. So, um, yeah, so I think we'll end it here for today. Um, our main lance is out for quite a while. We've got five more days um, if you go to our uh, mech bays really quick. Our pirate lance is pretty much ready to go. Um, all, fo all four mechs are up and ready to go. We're still missing these two from the main lance, so there might be uh, a pirate lance mission um, once again before the main group um, runs, because we've got uh, five days, and there's probably a lot of uh, uh, nice contracts, nice juicy contracts to take here. So yeah, until next time, if you like the video, please uh, drop a like, and if it's the first time watching, please feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.